In local matters, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is slamming President Trump's reversal to allow migrant families to stay together. In a series, he tweets, a series of tweets rather, he wrote, no executive order can reverse the harm caused by separating children from parents and went on to call it a, quote, moral outrage. The the governor also said this morning the rights of children and families are still being violated. We will fight back against this inhuman policy. With more on how this will play out in the state's primary elections, John Campbell is USA Today's to USA Today Network's Albany correspondent and is joining us now. John, uh, now the governor is not running in a primary next week, but will face off against an insurgent candidate, Cynthia Nixon, come September. So how will this factor into that race? Well, the governor is clearly making the uh, the calculation here that uh, there's a lot of outrage over over the child separation policy, and he's he's putting himself at the forefront of that by by pledging to file this lawsuit that that he claims New York has standing for. Uh, it seems that there's over 300 uh, children being housed in New York in various parts of New York, including New York City, Westchester County as well. Uh, and he's making the calculation that this uh, this uh, people are outraged over this, and that that it will. Uh, you know, he would say that it's, there, there's not a political aspect to this, but when you're running in a primary, everything is political. And uh, he faces Cynthia Nixon in, in September. He's obviously making the, the play that uh, this, this will, will, will play well with Democratic primary voters, and he's, he's trying to, to put himself at the forefront. Uh, he had a, a interviews with a, a number of different television networks yesterday. He made the rounds. He had an op-ed in the New York Times, and uh, you know he's he's trying to make him put himself at the forefront at of the fight against this policy. So, according to a Siena College poll earlier this month, only 38 percent of New Yorkers actually approve of the job that President Trump is doing. But in Staten Island, President Trump has a favorable rating of 82 percent among likely Republican primary voters. So how are candidates there addressing the president's policies in their campaigns? Well, you have a you have a really interesting Republican primary in that district. Dan Donovan, the former Staten Island district attorney, is the incumbent uh, and he's running against Michael Grimm who is the former, formerly held that seat, that congressional seat, before he went to jail for tax evasion. He's out of jail. He's trying to get his seat back. And, poll, and that same Siena poll you just referenced showed him with a 10-point lead over Dan Donovan. Uh, so you have seen, because Republican primary voters are so much in favor of Donald Trump, you've seen them aggressively try to court the Trump voters. You had uh, Michael Grimm yesterday. He compared the, the sound of the, the wailing children uh, in these in these facilities, he, he compared that to uh, when when parents leave for the day when, after they drop their kids off at daycare, and that's some, something that riled something people up. But you know, you're playing to a different base than uh, than a statewide Democratic base. I mean, that is a uh, it's still a Democratic district, but it has a history of voting conservative in the general election, and uh, in in terms of Republican primary voters, they are very conservative and very much supporters of Donald Trump. John Campbell, thanks so much.